When doing a 1031 exchange, it's important for you to understand what you are supposed to do. The first thing is, prior to putting the property on the market for sale, give us a call. We'll have a very brief discussion with you. Won't sign any paperwork at that point in time, but we'll give you a few tips. We'll give you some contract language, and then go out there and get a good contract on your property. Once it's under contract, give us a call or email us. We will then send you an information sheet to fill out and send back with a copy of the sales contract. This will give us the information that we need to fill out the exchange paperwork and the banking information that we'll send to you for signature. Part of the information that you provide will be the contact information for the closer, for the attorney, the title company, or their escrow company, depending on who the closing agent is. We will contact them. We will send them instructions on what to do. You don't need to contact them. When you get to the closing, everything should be set up. We should have handled things behind the scenes with the closer, but as with anything, there's always Murphy's Law. So if you find a closing attorney or whoever the closer is, is getting ready to give you a proceeds check or asking you for wiring instructions on where you want the money sent, stop. That means they didn't read or follow our instructions. Call us, we'll get things worked out. Once your property is closed, you have a 45-day identification period and a 180-day acquisition period. While we will apprise you of these dates, it is your responsibility to know what those dates are. We try to remind you, but it is still your responsibility. Make sure and fill out the form that we send you for the identification letter. There's very complete instructions on how to use that form and send it to us by the 45th day. When you do get a contract on a replacement property you would like to buy, give us a call because we need a copy of that sales contract and the closer's information for that particular acquisition. We will contact the closer, get their wiring instructions, and make sure your funds get to the closing on time so there are no delays. Once the transaction is complete, we will send you a final summary of your exchange that includes what money came in, what money came out, copies of the most important documents that most CPAs would want you to have on file. Separately, we'll actually send a tax package that you can just forward to your CPA that only includes the things that they will need. Our goal is to take something that's quite complicated and make it easy for you. But we must have your cooperation and there are certain things you must do at certain times. I hope this video helps you understand what those items are. Anytime you've got a question, you are welcome to give us a call. And thanks for your business.